In there. Interrogation room is fitting. Would you like me to untag target B? Not yet. The moment you do, she'll start cursing. And I'd at least like a few seconds to talk with our friend here. Okay. Listen. I want you to know that the last thing I want to do is hurt you. But God knows, I know so many different ways to inflict pain that it borders on demonic. Don't push me. You know what I want. Fine. Act stupid. I want the code. You know which one. Million dollar question. Why? Yeah, I guess you've been asking why for a while now. That code is an encryption for a virus that could potentially shut down the entire stock market. Millions it would be in higher debt than they already are. It would be a disaster that surpasses the Great Depression back in the 1930s. What I do with the information is not your concern. What is your concern is simply telling me what it is and where I can find it. If you want to play like that, fine. Neela. Oh, good. I bought myself a new knife and have been dying to cook myself some crab. Don't cut her. Not yet, anyway. Anything I can do to change your mind, love? Don't do that here. We can make them watch. Neela. You can be so droll sometimes. Fine. This bra's a bitch to take off anyway. You can un-gag Target B. No doubt she has quite a bit to say. No words. I have no words for what you've done. What you've become. Funny. For someone with no words, you seem to have a lot on your mind. You dare mock me? Ghost, you were someone I considered my best friend. I cared for you. Loved you, even. I know I didn't show it a lot, but God, you meant a lot to me. To both of us. The fact that you would even think of doing this hurts more than I could ever let you know. Trust me, Kai. If you knew I was doing this, you wouldn't be so quick to demonize. Then tell me. Please, tell me why. Classified. Fuck you. Fuck you, ghost. You're twisting the knife in, and you won't even give me the courtesy as to tell me why. God, we went through so much together in the last year. And Baby Bird, how could you do this to her? Don't start. No, to hell with that. She protected you as much as you protected her. Do you remember when you were 16 years old and got dumped on prom night? Baby Bird stepped in to be your date. She blew off her own boyfriend for you. She changed her entire night for you. She got broken up with over that. She always put you first. How could you? Enough. I won't be interrogated. It's supposed to be the other way around. I've already told you my terms. You talk, you walk. It's that simple. You're both supposed to be smarter than this. Pite me. If you think either of us will tell you a damn thing. Go ahead. Go ahead with what- Ow! What was- Oof. This blade cut skin like butter. Shelly, dearest. <laughs> you never told me you were AB positive. You're- You're fucking sick, Shay. You daft or what? Shay is just a moniker while I played the game. There's no need to keep wearing the jersey after I've already won. So what, you're Irish? Fake name, fake accent, fake hair color, fake attitude, fake personality. Anything real about you? Well, that depends. I'm getting real close to beating you over the head with a crowbar. Does that count? Talking to you pieces of shit is already worse than getting beaten. Bring on the crowbar. This fucking bitch. Cool off, you two. Can it. Don't talk like you're some team leader trying to settle a squabble. You betrayed us. Make no mistake. Brat. This would have been over by now if you just told me what I wanted to know. 
and crash America's economy, essentially? Pass. I like getting paid regularly. Who said I was using it for that? Are you? Classified. <laughs> Eat shit, dude. Sir. Seems to be an... issue with transport. <sighs> Damn it. What is it? Just come see. Fuck me. I'll be back. Neela! They talk, you let me know when I get back. Not going to interrogate us like your boyfriend asks? What, you want me to deny he's my boyfriend? Figures. You two deserve each other. Do you know, I've been wondering. How? How were you two so foolish to think we wouldn't do this? I mean, the writing wasn't just on the wall. It was on our faces. We've been planning to do this for a very long time. Just waiting for the right moment when no one would interfere. No one would save you. And here we are. You sound so very proud of yourself. I mean, I would be if it wasn't so damn easy. And Baby Bird, you're the worst one. You actually thought he would have feelings for you? Do you remember that night you told me about how you felt? I hope you know that same night we had a quickie in your bathroom. Well, quick for him anyway. You're fucking vile, Neela. Maybe so. But I'm the one who's uncuffed and not tied to a chair. Although who knows if everything goes as planned today, Ghost may reconsider later. Come on! You don't need to rub it in her face, that's just low! Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I had to play to your feelings, guys. Get real. Grow up. You both got played. Hard. And you know what? Tell us what you know, and you getting humiliated will be the worst of it. What do you say? Back. Any progress? None. They're being sore losers. You know what I don't get? Go on. I don't get why you waited so long. I'm curious. Enlighten me. Oh, or is that classified too? There were... certain conditions that needed to be met to proceed. I stalled a very long time even though they were met before. You're being intentionally vague. Yes. The idea is for me to get answers from you, not the other way around. Please, Ghost, crank up the full shit meter just a little bit higher. I've had enough of this. Can I cut her again? I'd rather not resort to violence, but if that's what we need to do... <sighs> One fucking minute, that's all I ask. What is it? What do you want? This better not be a waste of my time! Come in, Ghost-01. What the fuck? You sound surprised. Or you may be expecting someone else. I... no, 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 no. No, you're dead. I... I heard you die. That... that couldn't be... No way. That's impossible. He's... Like most things you try to do without me, you screwed it up, Ghost. What a shocker. Danny. I suppose you feel you deserve a prize? How I... I heard a gunshot and I didn't hear from you for a year. A fucking year! Yeah, right, because I'm going to shoot a text to a guy that ordered me dead in the first place, right? You? No, no, that's not right. I I ordered you to be kidnapped. I told them specifically not to kill. They weren't even supposed to bring live ammunition. I was going to release you after I got the code. Ghost, you deceived us all over years upon years. Do you expect me to suddenly forget... And believe a goddamn word you say? It wasn't like that. I've heard enough. I didn't come to talk to you anyway. I 
came with a choice. What do you want? You can let them go, or you can play a game. What are you, Jigsaw? For all intents and purposes, right now, yes, I am. And believe me, you should take the former. You don't get it. You don't get how hard I work to organize this whole deal. Organizing the guard schedule, the people who needed to die, getting each of us in one place. I can't... I can't just let them go. I worked too hard for this, and I refuse to let you take it away. Fine. Then you're playing my game. I'm not playing a goddamn thing. It's really not up to you. What the hell are you talking about? Take a guess where I am right now. Fuck if I know. The control room. <sighs> Son of a bitch. A little context first. You were in Block B. In Block B, there are 13 cells in confinement. Mr. Turner was one of them. You know who else is in one of them? Colton Bradley. Not that kid. I remember him. Nightmare. BB, Ghost killed his dad, like, right in front of him. Colton swore if he ever saw Ghost again, he'd staple his face to the wall. Rules are simple. Every minute you don't release them, I release a prisoner. I tell them your location. I don't know which cell he's in. But we'll get to that pretty damn quickly on the route we're on. This is psychotic. You're one to talk. That's funny. That's really funny. Your time's gonna start soon. I'm not putting Colton in the same room with any of them. I don't want them dead. I just want information. Then release them. <sighs> Compromise. No. I will let Neela go. Baby Bird stays. Why would I agree to that? I'm pretty sure if stopping you means dying, any one of the three of us would be happy to pay that toll. If you want a death of another one of your best friends on your hands, that's on you. Don't try to turn this around and manipulate me. You're the one trying to crush the entire economy! I release her or none of them. <sighs> Kai leaves. That's it. They both leave. You think you're in any position to negotiate? Neela's death would weigh heavy on you, too. Conniving bastard. Fine. Send them out. Hell no. I'm not leaving till we get what we're after. Not up for discussion. This is my war, not yours. I'm with you until the end. Come on, don't do this. Untie Kai. Let her walk out, wait 30 seconds, and walk out in another direction. Do not pursue. Don't pursue. Danny has all the cards. Don't make him play one. You'll be okay, right? Get going. Fine. Okie dokie, Shelly. Looks like you're off the hook. Listen to me. I don't know what you've become, but I truly hope you wake the fuck up. I don't know what you want me to say. I already did. You're a sad man, Ghost. Goodbye. Go. I don't like this. Don't make me tell you twice. Alright. I'll be waiting for you on the other side. They're gone. Just you and me. I really don't want to do this to you, but you're not leaving me a lot of options. Start the game. <sighs> okay. We'll do it your way. So, how's this supposed to work, huh? Every minute I release somebody, I don't know where he is, so I don't know if this is going to work. You gonna warn me when you're about to release someone? You didn't warn us when you turned into what you are, so why should I? 
Ooh, that one stung. You know, I was wondering, how'd you survive? I heard gunshots. It's a boring answer. Still, I want to know. They missed. I shot my computer. I had a gun next to my keyboard and I put him down. Easy as that. How'd you know I sent him after you? It came with an emblem. The emblem was, uh, one I made for you when you were younger. It was kind of yours. So I, uh, I knew if I told Baby Bird or Kai, if I told either of them, they wouldn't have believed me. I mean, why would she believe me when she's known you ever since you were kids? Why would Kai believe me when, <sighs> you know? No, what? Nothing. I guess you're more blind than I thought. I don't understand what you're saying, but whatever. Why are you doing this, Ghost? It's classified. You know that's a bullshit answer, right? It's all I have to offer you. <laughs> Funny. You know, the ghost I know would have never listened to the whole classified thing. He would have just said, fuck it, I'm going to tell you anyway. You always did have a big mouth. Yeah, and you always had big ears. Are you referring to my acute hearing, or are you referring to the actual fact that I look like an elf? bit of both. You know, I'll have you know, I've uh, had a lot of people say that these ears look rather charming on me. Just saying. Yeah, not doubting it. What happened to you, ghost? What happened to my little brother? <sighs> I don't know. Got old... Realized there were a lot of things I weren't doing right in life. Decided I needed to catch up on old times. It wasn't anything personal, I just... There were things I needed to do. And they just happened to include... I guess if you want to call it betrayal, you can. I don't see it that way. What do you see it as? Fulfillment. So what are you saying? Is this... This moment? Is this what you've been planning since the beginning? What do you consider the beginning? The beginning of your friendship with her. Yes and no. Okay. Can you explain that or is that classified? I was tasked with getting this information from her from a young age. They told me it would take a long time. Years. I planned on sticking to the plan, but uh didn't work out. I got attached. Things happened between her and I where I just couldn't see myself doing it to her. And I, I hesitated way too much. Decided it was time to stop hesitating. So what changed? Classified. I see. Do you remember when you were 13 years old? And there was a girl in your, uh, what was it, science class? You, uh, you came to me asking for relationship advice when you were 13. <sighs> what was that girl's name? Sophie Christie. Yes! That was it. Yeah, 
Good old Sophie Christie. God, you had such a vendetta for blondes after that. Yeah, it took me a while to get over it. Do you still hate blondes, or is that just a, uh... No, no, I, uh... <laughs> I got over it. I don't think I had too much of a chance with Sophie Christie anyway. She was <laughs> pretty much bound for varsity cheerleader in high school, and uh, I killed people. But did she know? No, no, no. Do you remember that uh that shaving kit that I got you for Christmas that one year? How old were you? Twenty-two. Hmm. Thought you were uh, older than that. No, I was twenty-two. Why? That was a shit gift, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, that was fucking awful. Yeah, I don't know, but it was between that and like a Nintendo 3DS. Are you kidding me? You gave me a shaving kit over a 3DS? What? I thought you'd use the shaving kit more. I thought you were too old for video games. Dude, I was 22. I know people in their 40s who play video games still. My mistake. You want me to go back and fucking buy the 3DS instead? Do you have to still have the receipt? Well, <laughs> fuck. Might be better than just looking at consoles up here. I'm bored. Yeah, well. At least you're not in an interrogation room with a locked door and you can't leave next to somebody who won't give you what you want, so you're stuck here. Whose fault's that? Shut up. What is that information going to do for you, Ghost? It's not for me. Oh, that wasn't classified? It was. But I decided to let one thing slip. That's not for me. It's for somebody else. So... Are you under strict orders of this person, or are you acting under your own volition for them? Strict orders. Would you be doing this if you weren't? You there? I'm there. You're not gonna answer my question? thought my silence said it all. How many th of them have been released? Classified. Funny. Is this painfully awkward for you, too? Oh yeah, I'm dying up here. Got social anxiety up the ass. How old are you now, Danny? 28. Hmm. Birthday just passed, didn't it? Mm-hmm. Sorry I didn't get you anything. Oh no, it's fine. I was dead. For the record, you totally beat me, though. I mean, I was supposedly dead for four days. You were dead for, like, a year and two and a half months. That's, like, serious douche levels. If I was shown to be alive, it would have complicated things. I needed for them to see in person who you were. That's when I could have reappeared. If I had reappeared ahead of time, you might have panicked and I might not have busted you. Or you could have just convinced them that I was full of shit. These silences are uh, rather uncomfortable, aren't they? Well, friends usually talk to fill silence, but... We're not really friends right now, are we? This is the first time you and I have been enemies. Yes. It's gonna be the last time. Yes, it is. 
You think you're going to beat me, don't you? Ghost, I don't understand how you can get out of this. Either way, you're going to be in there. And I'm not letting you out until you release her. I can't do that. Do you ever think about how she feels in all this? I've thought about it a lot. And? It hurts. It hurts you to think about? Yeah. I'm not heartless. But it, mission comes first. You always said that. You passed that on to me. I pass that on to her. It's no hard feelings. It's just... It is what it is. It is what it is. Do you remember... What I taught you... When we were younger? Narrow it down for me. Never... Ever... Change into something that you hate, no matter what it costs you. Never, ever give up on what you aspire to be someday. And never, ever forget who we were in our past life. I remember. I will always remember. <sighs> Ghost, I know where Colton is. I've known this entire time. I've been trying to give you time to change your mind, but you're breaking my heart here. Please. Danny, it's not that simple. No, I fucking hate that name, Danny. I'd call you Ghost, but you're not really him right now, are you? Look in the mirror and tell me you recognize yourself. Tell me if you understand the gravity of what you've been doing. You've known her for almost 15 years. I am begging you, please. Please wake up. I've been going down a bad path, haven't I? Yeah, buddy. Yeah, you have. <sighs> Baby bird. Go home. You heard what I said. Find Danny. Find Kai. Leave this place. And never, ever find your way back to me again. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye, Danny. I want you to get out. Get out of this life. Don't go back under any circumstances. Forget about me. Forget that I existed. Just go. Run and don't look back. No. No, don't. Don't give me a hug, please. I don't know if I'll be able to let go. Goodbye, best friend. Oh god, baby bird, you're alright! How did you get away? He let her go. You're kidding. Just like that. I think he realized where he was and what he was doing. Imagine that. There's still a soul left inside of him. Forget that. Are you hurt? Oh, thank God. Come on, we need to go. Wait, what about... Damn it, what's her name?
Neela? I sent a squadron after her. Ghost and Neela are going to serve time somewhere they can't escape. It's for the best. Does Ghost know? He's smart. I think he's just accepted it. So, what are we going to do now? Move away from New England, firstly. We're going to have to drop our code names, throw away all of our old equipment, basically destroy everything relating to being an assassin. After all that... Well, I think we ought to start working on our resumes. You know what? I... I think I know a place. <laughs>